but business schools, one of the things you, you mentioned on, on the yeah, yeah. LinkedIn group, um, you didn't, didn't think they were attracting much interest from the, the sort of internet companies. I, I did indeed, and the like. I, you're right, I did say that, and I think, um, I, mean, I haven't systematically researched it since then, but uh, nothing. Well, nothing has ever changed it. In fact, it's reinforced it. So, are they doing their own research on their own? Well, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. That, that's worthy of research in itself. Um, some of them certainly have their own corporate universities. Um, uh, I don't know. It, it would be worth asking. Um, McDonald's doesn't don't count, but there's McDonald's University. Um, um, what are the big ones? Uh, well, there's kind of Amazon, eBay, um, I suppose IBM, Apple, um, the sort of intermediate, Microsoft. Um, as far as I know, they don't, well, IBM may be an exception. They did, I remember, did an MBA. Handy was in school for a number of years. Uh, but generally, I think the model for those organizations, eBay, Amazon, um, <coughs> Uh, and, and the like, um, they start with a big idea, a uh, creative, innovative idea, usually by one person. Um, it gets rolled out through systems and people um, and runs on that basis. And it's probably too early to know in a big way what happens when that goes wrong. Um, IBM is interesting because it, that was the big mainframe, it missed PCs. Uh, it got into PCs eventually, and it missed software on hardware, which created the space for Microsoft. Um, um, but IBM, um, after one or two false starts, turned itself into a consulting company, which appears to be doing quite well. Um, Apple manages to have adapted up to now. Um, in various cr kind of creative ways, and uh, has kind of trod on the software and the hardware leg and, and varied it appropriately. Uh, I think probably the new game in town, you might know more about this than I do, is the move to the cloud uh, for this, that, yes. and the other. They're all, they're all it's not of clear of whether Apple have got that. I think Microsoft, sorry, I'm, I, I do mean Microsoft. Uh, are kind of onto it because they've introduced the Surface, which is um, like a tablet as well on the way to being a laptop or vice versa. Yes. And I was always surprised personally it didn't start there, but you know, I've got both. Uh, I've got the iPad and the, the laptop. Um, but that makes a lot of sense. And I think I noticed Dixon's advertising uh, a Surface and some kind of hard disk which also dumps your stuff in the cloud. Yes. They, yeah. they, they don't back up all your data. I presume you, then you just need um, Wi-Fi access and any kind of laptop, uh, tablet. And, and you any sort of device you can get. get your your mega-sized hard disk is in the cloud as long as you've got Wi-Fi access. Yes. And I think that's probably where I'll go next uh, in terms of my personal kit. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so what is leadership in these, these new organisations? Partly, for many of them, it's too early to, to, because they haven't had their first crisis, so to speak. But those organisations are kind of on the way to it. Microsoft, IBM, Apple, um, not sure who else. But y your impression is they're, wor they're working out the theory of that for themselves. They're not, they're not turning to an existing business school. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the case. I mean, they may not even bother with leadership development at all. Um, it may be just they have techies and that's it. And techies are fairly obedient chaps. I mean in in the UK most